If you feel comfortable, close your eyes. Take a deep, long and full breath through your nose, filling up your chest and belly. And then let the air all out slowly and gently. Continue breathing deeply and slowly as you bring up in your mind's eye someone or something you're grateful to or for. Breathe and appreciate. In your imagination, see the person or thing in front of you and fill yourself up with feelings of gratitude and appreciation. How fantastic. There aren't many opportunities you can get just to sit and be. It's times like this that you can relax and be one with your breath and your thoughts. Good morning, everyone. So this term, our Christian value has been resilience. And there's a lot we can all learn about resilience. Resilience is the ability to recover from or adjust easily to misfortune or change. Being like the bamboo, bending but not breaking. See, like this bamboo, bend but don't break. It can be hard to find things difficult. It can be overwhelming to deal with a lot of struggles all at once. But we need to meet those challenges with our best attitude and know that we can and will make it through. Some Christians refer to this quote from the Bible to give them the power of strength. I can endure all these things through the power of the one who gives me strength. We know it's important to keep going, to bend and not break. But how do we become more resilient than we are now? Have you ever heard people say, think positive, get your head in the game, have a healthy attitude? What does it even mean? To explain, let's take something we all know, like a phone. They're getting smarter, just like you. And as the adverts keep telling us, everything about them is connected. Which is true, everything is connected. Your physical, your mental and your emotional health and well-being. All of them affecting each other and affecting you. Life's about finding balance. But how do we even do that? Well, the first bit's obvious. You've got to have charge. Sleep is essential for your body and brain to rest, regulate and repair. About nine hours to be properly charged up. Ah, good morning. Next up, a phone is meant to be used for communication, sharing. Sharing and talking help staying connected. We're the same. Life's so much better when we're connected to our friends, family and community. Your attitude will also improve when you learn and achieve new things. Set yourself a goal. Be faster, jump higher, expand your grasp of a new subject or master the art of pancake flipping. There you go. You'll surprise yourself with what you can do and the feeling of reaching your goal, like the tastiest pancakes. When it comes to emotions, don't repress it, express it. Get creative and explore those feelings through art, music, whatever. If it all gets too much, remember to be present in the moment. Shut off the what ifs and distractions. Take some time to just be. So when you put it all together, getting your charge, staying connected, setting goals, expressing yourself and knowing when to take time out, you'll find that you're a lot more protected against the bumps and knocks of life. So you can carry on being awesome. Those were really good ways of becoming more resilient. But how many of them can you remember? Let's see if you're paying attention. What was the first thing mentioned in the video? 
sleep is essential for your body and brain to rest, regulate and repair. About nine hours to be properly charged up. Huh. Good morning. Yes, important amounts of sleep. Nine hours for some of you. What was mentioned next? Sharing and talking help staying connected. We're the same. Life's so much better when we're connected to our friends, family and community. Talking to people. Reaching out with your thoughts and feelings. What else? Your attitude will also improve when you learn and achieve new things. Set yourself a goal. Be faster, jump higher, expand your grasp of a new subject or master the art of pancake flipping. There you go. You'll surprise yourself with what you can do and the feeling of reaching your goal. Set yourself goals. Work towards achieving them. What else was there? When it comes to emotions, don't repress it. Express it. Get creative and explore those feelings through art, music, whatever. Get creative. Find time to express yourself. Last one. If it all gets too much, remember to be present in the moment. Shut off the what ifs and distractions. Take some time to just be. <sighs> How many did you remember? Remembering them is one thing. It's the doing that's important. Can you do any of them so that you can become more resilient? And here's a great quote from the Bible, which can give us hope and strength through difficult times, those times where we need to feel more resilient. I can endure all these things through the power of the one who gives me strength. And wherever we find the power of strength will help us through difficulties. If you'd like to share a prayer together, it's Amen at the end. You're welcome to look at the candle flame or you can put your hands and your eyes together. Dear Lord, give us the strength to keep on going even when we find things difficult. Amen. Well, that concludes our collective worship for today. Remember, work hard, be kind, look after yourselves. See you around school.